Welcome to the uh, Blacklisted Camp Day 2, where we got to do a Max Snatch and then a Max Clean and Jerk. Both had a lot of time, about 30 minutes, to build up and learn on what they should fix and just go for it and see what can happen today. What am I hitting today? Like weight-wise or what are we doing? Weight-wise. Weight-wise? Um, for the Snatch, I'd like to hit a moderate 195. I've been dealing with some forearm stuff, so not trying to push anything. On the clean complex, 215, 225 would be cool. Jen? How are you? Good, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Ready to lift some heavy shit. How efficient do you guys feel like you are at lifting barbells? What we're gonna do is a very quick barbell warm up, just like you, if you're coaching, probably how you would make a class warm up, but it just helps me see how you guys move. Um, and then hopefully I can give you guys a few tips because obviously, you know, once we start putting weight on the bar, it's really hard to make adjustments, especially once it gets heavy. So I would rather maybe as we, once we start getting into the actual lifting, we probably do a few reps at the lighter weights just so I can see those little small minute things to change as we move through because I probably won't give you anything groundbreaking today. I mean, if I do, great, but it'll probably be just some small stuff that hopefully helps those top end lifts for you guys, okay? Um, all right, go ahead and uh, grab your bar. All right, what I want to see is just your bar path. We're going to go 10 reps just from the top of your knees to a triple extension. That's it, okay? 10 reps. It doesn't need to be fast by any means. I just want to see how you guys are moving. All right, so snatch versus a clean, your position of your upper body is going to be a little bit different, right? Because our hands are wider, you're going to be a little bit more over the bar, which makes it a lot more important that we use our legs correctly. So right now, a lot of you guys are kind of squatting the bar down more and then hinging. Let's start this. We'll do, we're gonna do exactly what we just did again with five reps. I want you to relax your knees, push your hips back, guide the bar down. Just go slow for five reps. Squeeze your butt and guide this thing straight. You don't have to stand all the way up. I want you to focus on keeping it as straight as possible, okay? Hinge a little bit more than, than as much as you're squatting. Just change that a little bit. Overly focus on not being in your heels. If you ever hear someone telling you to be in your heels, hopefully there's just an overcorrection of saying like, hey, stop being in your toes. But I don't want you directly in your heels. You cannot jump from your heels. You gotta jump midfoot, right? All your weight needs to drive through the middle of your foot. So the last thing we're gonna do, bring the bar down, just like a normal starting position. I want you to just do five reps, controlled. Catch, you can power snatch, you don't have to squat yet, okay? I just wanna see five snatches at a controlled tempo, okay? I want you to build, like I'm not here, and I'm just gonna give you tips as you go. We're gonna build up to, his, to your goal weight, and if you feel like going heavier above that, then great. You don't have to, you can stop at that point, okay? I want, you to, I want you to focus on keeping your feet closer in your setup. So instead of being here, get stacked like you're gonna jump as high as you can. Your feet can move out when you jump, right? The focus is gonna be the correct hinging and keep, you're gonna get a lot more power. You now have to change, keep your shoulders in front of the bar, just those two big pieces. Okay, now, take a second, drop the bar. I want you to do the exact same thing, but explode and jump at the top, okay? Just finish a little bit more at the top. You're still, your shoulders are still in front of the bar at the top of your pole, so finish with them behind. There we go. Yeah, I know. I, so I know. I, no, they did. They did. But the problem, the problem is, is that like, it's it's slow for your hips to get under the bar, and that's why typically moving your feet helps. Yeah. Um, and that's okay to catch it narrow. Totally fine. Um, the thing is, is that if you don't move your feet and do like the whole no foot snatch, it's you're relying on your hips to do that, but you're always going to get caught here and then ride it down. Yeah. But if you can move your feet and time it, you should 
catch it at the bottom. Um, it's just something to work on over time and you're, you'll increase your, your max for sure. So one of the biggest problems is that they're, one, not brushing the bar, they're bumping or banging the bar away from them. And especially with a snatch, because your arms are straight, it goes like this. If that bar isn't coming up and dropping right on top of behind your head on your shoulders, you're probably gonna miss it. So a lot of times it comes from your bar path. Um, the second biggest problem is everyone's in their heels, so they shoot your hips back which then pushes them forward, which loops the bar. So those are two interchangeable problems. You just have to find which one you gotta fix first. Well, now we're gonna max out our community. Okay. So see what this looks like. It should be a little bit more aggressive um, since we just went through this, all this barbell path work. Um, so hopefully they can attack the bar a little bit more now. So biggest parts of snatching would be one, finding the correct bar path, learning how to move the bar about as straight as you can, that's the biggest and number one important thing. Um, number two is getting comfortable with mobility overhead so your positioning feels good there. And then three, getting comfortable in a bottom position, which means having the bar over your head down here. Those would be the three biggest tips I would give anyone. Bar path, mobility, and uh, positioning in the bottom. Uh, so some biggest flaws for um, cleans are basically gonna be a lot of early arm bend for sure, which is gonna create this huge core tension issue along the whole line of the movement. So there's not one pinpoint problem. It just changes the whole kinetic chain. You're just not as strong. The thing about like a rope and you tie a knot, it's not, a, it's not gonna be as good. Now you have a weaker point somewhere. The other problem with cleans is that you're gonna have, an, because of the early arm bend, forget that, you will pull the bar too early and then the bar is not going to get up closer to your hips which means now it's lower it's harder to get underneath you're not able to get as much power into the bar so early arm bend and the fact that you're not able to drive all the way up with the bar lastly which is the same crossover for snatches people shift their weight in their heels then back to their toes instead of staying through the mid foot as much as no one wants to do this you have to go back down and wait and then decide, okay, this is my threshold weight where everything breaks down. I have to stay underneath that till I can do it perfectly, and then I can start moving up again. If you keep going past that threshold weight and you keep doing these bad reps, you won't fix it. So drop the weight back down, get the reps to be perfect and the exact same every single time, and you'll fix it. Thanks for watching, guys. We had a lot of PRs today, a lot of new ideas that these athletes learned, which then created better lifts for them. If you need any help with this, definitely contact Blacklisted. I promise we can help you.